Hi everybody, welcome to the Baguette Investor channel for a new weekly video. So today I have many, many very interesting stuff to talk about. So I really want you to, to listen to me until the end of the video. Um, if you are interested into my trading journal, you can ask in the comments that I uploaded on the Discord. I did it uh, quite some time, so not that many people are interested in it. But if you're interested in seeing my trading journal, tracking all of my holdings, well, you can just uh, leave a comment asking me to do it. So I see some of you uh, might be interested. If you're not, it's okay. There is no problem into that. Let's get to uh, seeing how I view the markets and which markets am I looking at. I'm getting more and more professional. I really like the fact that I, my, I feel my trading is really improving. Uh, the market conditions at the moment are not good on the whole market, but on some sectors they're very good. So first we're going to check cryptocurrency, which is a market that I'm not really looking at right now. I, I rarely look at cryptocurrency. Uh, I still have a few open positions, but it's not really interesting to me. Because as you can see, um, we, we tried to make uh, some kind of bullish trend. We did not hold it, and now we're. Th there is a high probability that this support, this uh, resistance area of 44.7, um, becomes a resistance. And if we get rejected and make a new low, I think we might have to reach the 30k region. And if we don't hold the 30k region, um, I think it might get very, very bad for crypto. Um, apart from that, it can range for quite some time before printing a new pattern that will bring us on the upside. So for now, really, there's nothing really interesting into cryptocurrencies. I'm not looking at that. If you look at the um, index that I've made, this is the biggest uh, capitalizations of altcoins um, weighted by market cap. This is a homemade index with the formula. Uh, sorry for the big name and the inconvenience in terms of liquidity. What you just need to see if you look at the price, we're in the same situation that Bitcoin is, so not really interesting. And if you look at the market cap of crypto excluding Bitcoin, you can see that we made a double top and now really this is a range market. I would be very interested if we break higher in terms of market cap. If we make a new all-time high, I would be very, very bullish and I would turn again on crypto. But right now, I can show you some of my crypto positions. They're not really interesting. There is this this one that is working very, very nicely. But, you know, this is the kind of market where one trade will succeed and nine trades will fail. So this is really, really not. Look at this trade that I took, which turned to be something good. I my computer lagging. I, I am really sick. Apple, fix your products, please. Uh, this is really not the kind of thing I want to look at because again cancelled I, I I will sell that when I connect to my hobby account um, look at these positions this one gave me a lot of a lot of um, a lot of money but yeah there's only one trade uh, making a success out of the others so not really interesting you know I started taking a look at sectorial trends I made a video on how to spot sectorial trends and I use ETFs indexes to spot sectorial trends. Um, one sector that is really killing it, there is uranium that I'm looking at that might be very interesting in the future if this level holds. This is Global X Uranium ETF, which is a package of uh, a big number of uranium mining, producing and um, uh, using uranium. So you can see the huge amount of volume that came to this ETF uh, during September. So the question is, was that the top of the market because we made a, an absolute crazy run up or is this the start of a new trend? Because when you unzoom this, you see that there is quite some room on the upside. If I remove the log scale, you can see we there is a very, very, very nice play uh, on this. If you're interested into these stocks, I made a special video about it. You can go and check it out on the channel if you want. I leave it in the description. There is something else I'm really interested in. This is the uh, shipping sector, which is, I, I don't know if you know about this, but marine shipping, shipping on the sea, uh, it becomes very, very hard because co uh, cost of shipping uh, exploded because of supply chain problems. So this is the cost of marine shipping index. It's a, an ETF that tracks a package of contracts on um, uh, pricing on the marines, uh, tr marine shipping. It's a little bit technical, This how this ETF is made. What you just need to, to get is this is an index of how expensive it is to ship a container from one place of the earth to another. And you can see it's increasing a lot. That means the shipping companies 
are very likely to increase as well. I have other ETFs that I'm tracking, but one sector that is really, really rocking it is the energy sector. I spoke about this. It was um, right before uh, the open. It was on Friday, last Friday. I spoke about energy and you can see that this morning energy is just crazy. It's going like crazy. Natural gas is at an all time high since uh, what? Three years. Um, uh, energy sector is making continuing its bullish trend. Oil is almost at an it's well, it's gone away from a 2018 high. So you can see there is really something happening on oil and the oil companies, the oil and gas companies, because oil is very often linked to gas, are really, really killing it. I'm looking at a new high on this ETF, which is the S&P oil and gas, which is the um, US oil and gas index. But if you look at everywhere on Earth, you will see that in your country, the oil and gas uh, companies are uh, going up, might be going up. So Japan, China, Europe, uh, America, everything is really going up at the moment in terms of oil companies. And this, the strongest, is an unconventional oil and gas ETF, which has companies that are very, very strong. And you can see it's breaking out of this base. And this is the setup you really want to look at. And this is might be the start of a new, um, a new trend. This looks very much like a head and shoulders reversed. So this is really the kind of setup I'm looking at. And maybe this is going to be a sector uh, trending in the future. Uh, small caps energy are a bit lagging behind, but one ETF I'm really looking at is uh, XOP and FRAK. Really, really interesting. When you compare that to tech, if you compare that to the QQQ, which is the technology index, you can see that technology has gone up so much that now it needs to cool a little bit down and leave some space for, um, for oil companies. So what we're going to see uh, we're going to check the FRAK and conventional oil and gas, and we're going to see the relative strength with the QQQ. And you can see that it has been um, oil was a bad investment for since the beginning of this uh, history chart. So since the last decade, oil was a very bad idea. But now what we're seeing is that if we start a new uptrend on this ratio, it would mean that oil companies bring you more money than um, uh, uh, technology companies really something to keep in mind look at oil please I'm really really proud to show you this I'm really proud to be this early well we're, we're not the most early guys because I believe there is there are very smart people who bought here people who bought here people who bought here but it's not a problem to be late on a trend as long as the trend continues and you, we manage our risk um, uh, other thing uh, is oh uh, yeah rising uh, rates Many people are afraid of uh, rates becoming higher because of inflation and all the prices are going up like crazy. In the US, there's at the moment 5% of inflation. So you keep your eyes on this ETF, which is equity for rising rates, which is really a package that represents uh, inflation factor because there is uh, banks and um, oil, gas and commodities uh, companies. So really what we should look at is companies that are into uh, resources and companies that are banks because if yields get higher, they make more money. Makes sense to you. Um, to conclude this uh, weekly video, I'm really, really happy to see a lot of opportunities. You can see the tech sector right now. I have a few of my screened companies that the chart looks very good. You can see this is Optimizer Rex Corp. Uh, tech company is at the moment taking a break. You can see all the tech companies taking a break, red candles everywhere. Um, making a retest only Tesla going up but Tesla is not really considered a tech company it's considered a renewables company uh, so I believe there is a very high correlation with Tesla and the renewables companies all over the world where I'm going to make a special video about this so this Tesla breakout I'm really paying attention and I, I think I'm going to buy Tesla at this price because this might be the start of a new run-up. The only uh, thing that bothers me is that there is still no peak in volume, but usually the peak in volume happens after the big green candle. So I might position myself right there because this is very interesting. Uh, uranium is still rocking it. There are amazing opportunities on uranium. And you can see that these oil and gas companies are really, really, really good. They look amazing. These charts are beautiful and the sector is one of the most bullish at the moment. I've got WRFD, DVN, HESM, I have RRC and I have CJ, which are companies that I'm looking at. And I wonder 
uh, how much I will buy, how many I will buy, and um, uh, where uh, you know the whole trading strategy where I'm gonna put my stop loss and all. But I'm really, really, really going to buy these companies. The question is just when do I wait for a retest? Do I FOMO? Where do I put my limit order? All that kind of stuff. Very, very interesting. I'm waiting for this. Um, there is also the leisure sector, but I'm not going to give you the whole list of, of uptrending sector and stocks because I think the video is going to be too long. If you're interested, uh, if you watch the video until then and are interested in me telling every week which sector precisely am I looking at, well, feel free to uh, tell me in the comments. Um, other things I'm looking at is the shipping sector, as I said. So this is maritime shipping uh, companies that are, are very beautiful looking charts. So ship, CTRM, SB, and um, ADRY. ADRY still has not broken out, so I can remove it from my list. Um, this one is gorgeous, breaking out of a what? It's five, six year base, amazing volume, crazy volume. Same for CTRM. This is pr trying to print a new bottom. You know, this is the kind of stock that I will risk a few dollars, but that can give you amazing returns. So if you remove the log, you can see how crazy this thing can go and how much potential it has. So yeah, keep a look on these sectors. I'm saying uh, commodities, so uranium, coal, oil, gas, uh, all that kind of stuff. Keep an eye on shipping sector, shipping, uh, marine shipping stocks, and keep an eye on uh, leisure sector, which is the uh, hotels, casino, and all that kind of stuff. And tourism, also tourism is very interesting at the moment. Hope you found some interesting info in there. Hope it helps your trading. Crypto for me at the moment is really not interesting. I'm not reviewing crypto until it gets interesting again. Uh, hope you don't mind. Hope you will keep watching these videos and I hope you invest, you try to invest the same uh, way as me. Uh, I'm not performing really well at the moment, but I think with the oil uh, bull market, I can really start picking up again. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video and goodbye.